beautiful people. Hi, y'all. Happy New Year. We're almost at a new year. It's almost upon us, guys. 2022 is almost here. So um, I wanted to make this video talking about what I am leaving behind in 2021, okay? And I would love to hear what you, my dunce, beautiful people, are leaving behind in 2021. Please share, okay? Um, oh my God, this video is, um, it's a personal video, okay? I'm going, as always, you know, I speak my truth. Um, it, those of you who know me and who has come to know me, I speak it how I speak it how it is. You know, love me or not. I am going to be authentic. I'm going to stand my integrity. I'm going to call you out. You know, if you're doing something that is not right, you know, that's a lie. That is basically not of God, you know, because I'm not living for anybody on earth except for my God. So, but anyhow, that being said, guys, um, in 2021, okay, 2021 was an interesting year for me, okay? I learned a lot in 2021 and God tested me a lot, okay? Let's just say that. Um... You know, but through it all, everything that happened, um, it's definitely a learning opportunity. And I'm the kind of person, my dumb, beautiful people, my dumb, beautiful people, you know that I take everything as a learning experience because I believe in learning knowledge. That's how we grow. Okay. That being said, in 2021, I, me, moi, her, she, Dun Stedler, okay. I am leaving behind my needs, not my, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm leaving behind my wants, not my needs, but my wants, okay? And I'm leaving behind two things, okay? And I'm leaving behind my want, okay, to have a second child, all right? For those of you who know me, I have a beautiful, I mean, I have the most handsome, gorgeous, kindest, most smartest, intelligent, um, oh my goodness, he's such a blessing to me, okay, son in the world, okay, my son. Yes, I'm leaving behind my need to have a second child. Yes, I am. And the second thing that I'm leaving behind is my need to get remarried, Okay, to get remarried again. All right. Now, this did not, this decision, my dumb, beautiful people did not come easy. Okay. I had to pray about it. God really spoke to me. God has been really testing me, to say the least. And um, I did not come to this decision lightly. Okay. It was a, with a lot of prayer. Okay and um, consultation. Now, the reason why I'm leaving behind my want, not my need. I dance beautiful people, yes, hear me out, okay? There's a difference between your needs and your wants, okay? Yes, I want to have a second child. Yes, I would love to be married again, but do I really need that? Is that something that God wants from me? And what I have realized is that, okay, too often, and I'm going to make several videos in 2022 about this, too often the enemy, all right, the enemy uses a woman's need to have children and need to get married um, in a way to attack her, all right? And... I am Jesus's child, okay? I am a child of God. And God, all right, does not want me, the window, the door to be open for Satan to use in any way to attack, you know, his daughter, his daughters. Now, hear me out, okay? 
because I sort of find myself um, kind of, those of you who know me, <laughs> okay, you guys know that I have boundaries. I have boundaries. I have um, certain rules, regulate, like I run my life like a corporation, like a company. I have rules, regulation, policies, guidelines, boundaries. Yes. <laughs> and I strongly suggest we all do that. You all do the same thing too. But that being said, I find myself thinking twice about these, these core values, these rules, corporations, missions, policy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be in a position where I'm like, hmm... Hmm, maybe I could, you know, tweak this policy a little bit. Maybe I could tweak this boundary a, a little bit just so that I could have my wants because that's not what God wants for me. You know what I mean? Been there, done that. So in 2021, I just want to know what are you guys leaving behind in order for you to grow? Because that, because I need to focus on God. I need to focus on God. I need to focus on Jesus 100%. I cannot have no distractions because where God is leading me, he needs my 100% attention. And if the devil know my wants, he can use that against me. Do you understand? Am I being clear? Like, do you guys hear me? And so I hear God telling me, Dun Stedler, Stay connected to me. Stay connected to your need, not your want. Because think about it, okay? I don't really need a second child. Do we need to have kids? No. We could live without, you know, having kids. And we definitely can live without, you know, getting married. Most of us, you know, are not married, right? So the thing is that, okay, for, like, for example, okay, like, you know, I've been, you know, as you guys know, you know, I'm dating, I'm socializing, I'm meeting people, you know, and I've met some great people, you know, throughout the years. But it's like, okay, let me give you an, a specific example. Uh, let's just call him TJ. I like to use the word TJ. So TJ, okay. So TJ, he, for example, TJ, right? So TJ, he is great on paper, you know, TJ has a great job. He, um, you know, is a good man in the community. You know, um, he is loving parent. He loves his, he loves and support his family. All right. TJ is good looking, you know, he's great on paper, but TJ does not believe in Jesus. He believes in God. No, TJ is not a Muslim, but he doesn't believe in Jesus. Now, y'all who know me, you guys know every single video. What do I have? Yes, a cross. What does this cross signifies? So, all right. And so, my dance, beautiful people, do you see how the devil is very cunning so then i find myself saying hmm don you know he doesn't believe in jesus but he believes in god i mean why not you know you want another child you want to get married he will be a good husband and he'll be a good father but you might just have to compromise your religious views and values. Do you see what I mean? Anybody out there, anybody out there understand what I'm saying, can relate, have an example, something. Huh? Too often, my men and my ladies, we compromise on our core values. Too often we compromise on our core values to get what we want. Not what we need, what we want. And God had to really eek, eek, give me so many, 
he just i just love you jesus i love you okay he just had to be like uh-uh we are not going down that path okay i did not give you the strength and courage okay to leave with your two-year-old son only to go back if you could leave with your two-year-old son you could leave you could wait for the men that i'm going to get ready to send you you are not going to compromise uh-uh she's not going to compromise no way not on her core values you know what i mean and these are the two things i feel personally that the death and these are the two things ladies and gentlemen my dunce beautiful people my want of having a second child and my want to get married again that the enemy has that they can use against me okay he could send his counterfeit sons he's kind of like like i said to you before the enemy has children too just like god has children just like jesus has children the enemy has children too he could now tj is not a bad man He's just not my man. He's just not the man that God has for me. Because I believe a marriage should be a union that represents God, that represents Jesus. A marriage is a union where two people come together and do something for the kingdom of Christ. Do something because I want somebody that I could connect with that's going to be doing something for the world. You know, that we could have like minds. I don't just want to have a husband to take pictures on Instagram like so many people. I don't want to have a second child just to say I have another child where I cannot take care of that child, where I'm stuck in a relationship where I cannot stand the guy, where we're always fighting. My kid is is being raised in a household that's not healthy. That I mean, kids know we love. Kids know true love. I don't want my son to grow up in a household where he doesn't see authentic love because he's going to grow up and give that to his wife, to his girl. No, I don't want that. And God knows my heart. God took me out of a toxic relationship before. And I'm not going to let nothing bring me back. So you, <laughs> you guys need to understand this. If y'all see me married again, great. If y'all don't see me married again, know I'm good. Trust and believe. If y'all see me with another child, great. If not, know I'm good. Because I, I need the blessing of Jesus Christ in my life. I don't want it. I need it. Like I need water and air. <laughs> Trust and believe. Okay? So I have a lot of wants, you know? And I'm sure my dance with people, you have a lot of wants too. But what are your needs, your core values that you really know you need? All right? That you know that God wants for you. That you know God made you to be. Don't compromise in that, baby girl. Don't compromise in that. Baby boy, don't compromise in that. Know your worth. I always say know your worth and know whose you are, who you belong to. And God had to remind me a few times in 2021. And you know, there's other examples that I could use. And in 2022, I'll, I'll, I'll try to share more, share more stories with you guys in 2022. But that's what I wanted to come out here and show you guys and open my heart to you. Okay. Open my, like I, like I've always done. Okay. And just let you know what I'm leaving behind in 2021. <sighs> And I feel free, you know, I've talked to my loved ones about this, you know, I've talked to my counselor, I've talked to, you know, um, my people in the word about this and I've prayed about it and I am in so much peace and I'm just like, <sighs> it's like a lift, a pressure, a weight has been lifted off of me. <sighs> It feels good to let go of something you really want and you don't care for it no more. Try it, my dunce beautiful people, try As always, my dunce beautiful people, I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. See you in 2022. Dance beautiful people. Mwah.